filthy and if I sound like raspy like my voice sounds raspy it is because I'm sick it has gotten to that point in the year again where I'm just getting sick like all the time but I still wanted to film this video because I did not want to miss an uploading date because I was sick and also this is a very highly requested video so I wanted to do it for you guys today I'm going to be doing a updated what is on my iPhone video this is actually a perfect time to do this because I recently got the iPhone 6 I used to have the 5s and you guys have been asking me to do another what's on my iPhone video and also I've changed the way that I've been using my iPhone iPhone, so I thought like why not do it and also my last what's on my iPhone video which is the first one I ever did got 1,000 views which is really awesome so thank you guys for that you guys really seem to like it so that is also why I'm doing another one so yeah I'm gonna be showing you guys what is on my iPhone we have Jordan in the back he's a part of this video too and that is basically it we can just get started so the iPhone that I have is the iPhone 6 um, in gold I wanted this because the iPhone 6 plus was just way too big and I'm really hoping that Apple does not keep making making iPhones as big as the 6 Plus because I think that that is way too big. This is like the perfect size for me, so I've just been using this. So when you first turn on my iPhone, you see donuts. That is my lock screen, and it just says the time and the date and everything. Um, so this is my first page, and I keep all the apps that I use the most on the first page. I don't really have those groups anymore. So the first like apps are like the default apps, like weather, contacts, clock. Oh, and also my home background I don't know if this will work but it's like this picture that I found on tumblr and yeah it's just like a picture of the sky and I thought that it was pretty so so that is my background and so I just have all these default apps weather context clock calendar and maps and then we get into the apps that I got myself that I cannot live without the first one is Netflix and I'm obsessed with Netflix that is what I use all the time when I just want to watch TV in bed um, then the next one is YouTube because I love watching YouTube videos in bed that's like how I watch most of my YouTube videos. I don't really use my computer for them. I normally just sit in bed and watch them. Then I have Creator Studio, which I've talked about on my last What's on My iPhone video. You can see a layout of all of your videos, how many videos you have, all of the comments that you get, things like that. So if you are a YouTube creator and you make YouTube videos, I would definitely recommend this um, app because it is very good. I use it a lot. Then we have Instagram, my favorite social media app. You guys know I'm always on Instagram. Um, if you guys want to follow me, it is always in the link down below. It is SophieLovexo underscore. So yeah, this is my Instagram. And if you guys want me to do a how I edit my Instagram photos, I will do that. It was not in this video. I've seen that that was requested by like a few people. So I will do that if you guys want me to, but it's just not in this video. And basically Basically, this is my Instagram right here and then I just like like a bunch of pictures and things like that and yeah so that is my Instagram and that is my favorite social media app then we have snapchat my snapchat is not public um lots of you guys have been asking me what my snapchat is it is not public it's one of the few social media apps that i have that i just share with like my friends that i know personally so and then next we have twitter my twitter is public it's always in the description box below all of my public social medias are and so i just like scroll through a bunch of my tweets and i tweet a bunch of things and i don't know it's just a very fun but instagram is probably my favorite like app of all time um and then next i have kick and my kick is also not public because it's basically equivalent to like texting me and i don't know like i feel like the best way for you guys to contact me is either on social media the ones that are public or on my email that i made for you guys called sophie lovex so subbies which it pops up in my mail app so yeah my kick is just not public then i have subscriber count and i like this app because it's for youtube creators as well and it basically shows you like your real time subscriber count because youtube doesn't do that for you you can like refresh it and then it will show you because the actual youtube website doesn't show your real time subscriber count but this app does so yeah i just use that like and just like check it sometimes like that's how i saw that i had 1000 subscribers and then my next app is ask fm and this is public if you guys want to ask ask me stuff then you can definitely do that and it's fun it's very very fun I love it I might do a Q&A on Ask FM so if you guys want to follow me there and ask me questions then I will definitely do a Q&A there my next app is the photo app and obviously I just take all my photos and just shows up there then videos that also comes with it and then I have VS Go Cam which is one of the apps that I use to edit my Instagram photos and I love it this is my favorite editing app to use like I could not have an Instagram without this app like 
like I put my entire Instagram feed in it because I just want to see how like things will look if I try to add photos. I won't get in depth of like what actual filters I use, but yeah, this is basically it. This is one of the apps that I use. Um, then we have notes, settings, reminders, like those things don't really matter. For notes, I normally use it for video ideas. I have a whole entire note dedicated to video ideas and then that's basically what I use it for, reminders if I need to remember something obviously. And then I have app store, calculator, phone, camera. And then moving on to the bottom for like the main things that always show up. I have mail because I always check my mail. Then I have messages. And then I have Spotify which is public. Like I have public playlists on there. I think my Spotify is just Sophie Ming and it's in the front because I don't use any other music streaming app. Spotify is the only one that I use. I use some others but Spotify is the main one. Like if I want to listen to music I will be in Spotify. So that is why it's down there. And the next one that I have is Safari and obviously we all know what Safari is. Moving on to the second page. These are the apps that I use but I don't use that often. So I have FaceTime and then I have some music apps like Songwriter um, and GarageBand because if I'm making music or writing music then I'll do it in those two but normally I don't really use GarageBand that much sometimes I do I mainly just use it on my actual instruments like my guitar and my piano like the real ones so I don't really use it that much SoundCloud I don't put music on SoundCloud or really listen to music on SoundCloud I just have a few songs in there that are not on Spotify like these songs are not on Spotify because that's the main one that I use so I just use SoundCloud for that then I have the actual music app that I never really do use because as I said, I listen to Spotify. Then we have voice memos. I don't really use voice memos that much. Next we have Afterlight. This is one of the other um, editing apps that I use and I will go into depth of like how I edit photos in there like um, another time like when I'm doing that video. That's another one of the apps that I use. Moldiv and Pixart are two other apps that I use too. I don't really use Moldiv that much. Moldiv is more of like a collage app if you want to make collages and Pixart is another editing app. And then Insta emoji you can add like emojis I think to your photos yeah so um, I don't really do that that often but I just have it just in case. Square Ready another editing app that I do use a lot so I will show you like what I do in that app. Then I have iMovie and I got iMovie just in case I ever wanted to edit one of my videos on my phone but that will probably never happen because I don't really use iMovie period I did pay money for that so I might want to try using that then I have iTunes store as I said I use Spotify so I don't really buy music from there then next I just have tumblr and my tumblr is public it is sophieming.tumblr.com just my first and last name and then we have characters which is another editing well it's not really an editing app it's like if you want to add these really cool characters to your captions and if I want to do that then I I can. Then next we have like that one group in my phone with a bunch of apps called What Are Those? And it's basically the apps that I never use and will probably never end up using. These are literally just apps that I've gone into but I'm probably just never going to use them. Then we have my games um, which and I normally just play games when I don't have any service even though you do need service for Akinator, BuzzFeed, and QuizUp. But yeah if I'm just like that bored to the point where I have nothing to do like I'm not even checking my social media I will just play these games do some BuzzFeed quizzes things like that then next I have Chase um, from my card to see how much money I have on my card then I have Sephora because I have an account with them now moving on to the third page this is the final page first we have musically and I am obsessed with musically guys you can follow me on musically it's either Sophie Lovick so or Sophie Ming check both like I don't really know how to explain it but you guys should totally make one and if you do follow me then we have whatsapp which is not public because for you guys to whatsapp me you guys would need my phone number and I cannot give out my phone number. And then I have Shazam. Shazam is basically if I hear a song and I don't know where it's from, I don't know what the song is called, then I can just Shazam it. And guys, I've tried singing to Shazam or like humming a tune to Shazam. That does not work. I feel like everybody who's gotten Shazam has tried that. No, that doesn't work. I think it's like connected with the iTunes store or something. Singing to it will not work. I've tried it multiple times. And then we have Seamless. And Seamless to me is like the official lazy app. It's for people who are literally so lazy and I'm not even calling anybody out like I'm calling myself out because I'm too lazy to call somebody and order food I'm also too lazy to walk out to my computer and go on to seamless I just enjoy the 
comfort of sitting in my bed, snuggling with my cat, and ordering takeout on my phone without having to talk to anybody. The next app is Shots, and my Shots is public, but it's never in my description box because I've never posted a shot ever. If you guys want to follow me, I think it's Sophie Ming. I'm pretty sure it's Sophie Ming. But yeah, if you guys were to follow me, then I would start posting shots, but for now, like, I don't really even post anything. The next app that I have is Pump Up. You guys know I love Pump Up. Then we have Urban Outfitters, and I have an account with them, so I just like scrolling through the app and like seeing what they have and stuff. Then we have Facetune, and I don't really use Facetune that much. I did buy it, and I've tried it out. I don't really like photoshopping things or like changing things about how my face looks or about how a picture looks. Then I just have Photo Marker, and this is basically like a copyright thing. Let me show you an example on my Instagram. Whenever I post photos that belong to me, like okay, here we go. Like this, for example, I took this photo. I edited this photo put the words onto this photo everything about this photo is mine so just in case somebody wants to like take it or claim it as theirs or post it on their Instagram or whatever and it has a little Sophie Lovick so in the corner to like let people know like this came from my page so that is why I have this app so I can put um, photo markers basically on my photos then the next app that I have is famebit and this is basically for YouTube creators too um, it basically helps you get sponsorships and like collaborations but I don't really use this that much I feel like if I wanted to collab with somebody or make a friend on YouTube or approach a brand or something like that like I don't really need an app to help me like if somebody were to contact me on that app then of course I would talk to them I've used it once or twice and I haven't actually really done anything with it but if somebody does end up contacting me then of course like I would talk to them back the next app that we have is vine and i literally i don't know if i'm the only one that does this but i don't even make vines i literally just use vine to watch other people's funny vines i would go into vine and literally watch other people's vines like that is basically all i do next we have you now and i've never made a you now like live chat before i don't know when i will or like when is a good time to do that but yeah i would totally make one if you guys wanted me to then the last app in my phone is next stop and this is basically for people who take the trains and I take the train every single day to school so for those of you who take trains like this will help you a lot it costs money I think it was like $1.99 this app gives you a real-time countdown of when your train is coming so I really love this app because it's like I've literally stood at the train station and watched the train come as this hit zero it works for me too so I really enjoy it so that was my video those are all the things on my phone if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment Comment down below your favorite app at the moment. I don't know if mine is either Seamless, Netflix, or Instagram. I'm not sure which one yet. Like, it's very hard to decide. But yeah, just comment down below your favorite app. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure to go do that. Because, guys, I have so many awesome videos planned. And I am more than excited to share them with you. So if you guys do not want to miss out on that, then hit that subscribe button. So yeah, I know that my voice this entire video sounded like weak and like sad. I know, I'm sick. But I hope you guys still enjoy this video. And I love you all so, so much. And I will see you all this Saturday with another new video. Bye!